Good morning. All right. So I had a oh, I had a real supper last night. So a little bigger than normal. So maybe might have gained ten pounds. Who knows? Let's see. What we got. I have a headache a little bit. Maybe it's because I keep staying up till like 10 o'clock at night and then going to work for five in the morning. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm on vacation mode. So on vacation next week. All right, I'm gonna make a smoothie. control ate it with a spoon a couple times like I only got like what five smoothies out of it um well I got this this is actually pretty good um it's like stuff with things um defatted almond and hazelnuts Cool, bro. Anyway, it's just, uh, it's like, it, it's kind of cool because if you, if you just add water, you can make peanut butter. But if you put it in a smoothie, it just tastes like peanut butter. Very good. All right. Um, today I'm going to work, of course. Um, I uh, I have tests today, so it means I'll be off site. So I'm going to um, what do you call it? I have tests today. It means I'm gonna be off site, so it means I'm I, I'm not bringing a lunch. I'm just gonna bring my second smoothie. I should be off in time that I don't need like supper or something. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Very non-negotiable. I had to stop for a coffee. All the coffee shops closed on the way. It's all my fault. <laughs> so, got the students to uh, drive me to a coffee shop. There we go, I got my coffee. Let me tell you, breakfast sandwiches look very appealing. They, uh, I didn't get one, but man. folks all right just get off work super tired no gym today just gonna go home go to bed I uh yeah I don't know <laughs> I'm tired but and then back to my regular schedule for three days then Friday I'm back in for 5 a.m. and then Saturday I fly away on vacation very excited for all of these things to happen. Um, just trying to think if there's anything cool that happened. My students passed today, two of them of the five, so I got three more going this weekend. Um, congrats to them. They, uh, yeah, so, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm just not feeling it today. I just, 
good way in. I'm happy. I, I have my two smoothies and stuff. I just, I mean, it's even kind of a nice day out. I just can't be here today. Just doing, just can't be awake today. It's a little much. Uh, I think uh, maybe it's because this morning I went to, I think, three different coffee shops and they're all closed. Two of them, one, like two of them were closed because they're closed. One of them was closed because it was, uh, they said a staffing shortage. And then I was like, well, let's go to Starbucks because they're, they're open. I go to Starbucks and they're also closed. I was just like, ah, I don't know what to do. So I uh, I had to wait. It was like an hour plus before I had my morning coffee. It was tough. So yeah, it was uh, <sighs> very coffee dependent. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the end of my video. I'm rambling. I'm rambling a lot this week because I'm very tired this week. I weighed in 269 because I'm super skinny now. So awesomeness. All right, see you guys later. Hi. So, just leaving the mall. I uh, thought I was going to uh, get a Christmas sweater. I went to like uh, all the different stores. There wasn't anything good. I want like a real tacky, real bad Christmas sweater. I think I'm a fan. Um, but when I went and looked, the only place I could find that had some was like Spencer's Gifts. But they're like really vulgar. It's like Merry Christmas effers and stuff like that. And I want like tacky, like old, terrible, <laughs> ugly Christmas sweaters. I don't want to be like a cool dude walking around with my, with my, uh, Merry Christmas effers on my sweater. Um, yeah. I was very close to buying a pair of really ugly boots. I think I like ugly clothes. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm a weird dude. Life's weird. Might as well get weird with it. Um, yeah, so no gym today. And you know what I've decided? I'm feeling crazy feeling off my off my game today I am gonna go get a blizzard that's happening from Dairy Queen then maybe a slice of pizza because why not um, I don't know why I feel this way maybe it's because I've had very little sleep over the past couple days but I'm excited. I've been wanting uh, something for a while. I think about it sometimes like uh, having like a cheat day. But I don't want cheat days. Because I always felt like cheat day is like, oh, today's a cheat day. I'm going to wake up real early. I'm just going to start eating burgers till real late at night. So instead of calling it a cheat day, I just call it like a cheat meal. So I'm going to have a bad day today or bad afternoon, like just this one little section here. And uh, I'm gonna drag you guys along with me. No matter how much you protest, you're coming with me to order a blizzard. All right. I'll see you guys when we get there. Bad Life Choices Group. I'm not even gonna get a piece of pizza. I'm gonna get something from here. Hey, how's it going tonight? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Could I get a, uh, could I get a mini O. Henry peanut butter blizzard? Yeah, anything else? Could I also get a, uh, let's see. Could I get... Sorry, uh... 
can I get a flamethrower burger meal? Uh, seven up. Can I get onion rings instead of fries? Anything else? That's all. Thank you. Oh, this is not good, everybody. This is gonna be an ordeal. Sucks I'm doing it, but I haven't done it in so long. It's not a good excuse. Let's see. Just feeling it today. I don't want to pop. Maybe I do. Who knows? I haven't had a flamethrower burger in a very long time. I remember I tried it years ago. I really liked it back then. Is so pretty excited for my way in tomorrow? I am. Maybe I'll just go really hard at the gym tomorrow. Or maybe I won't. Who knows? Man, I'm off today. I was so tired this morning. I've been so tired the last few days. Oh, she's angry. I watched her like put ice cream in a mini cup, which I assume was mine. And then she just like let out a big sigh. She looked in it and she just whipped it in the garbage. I mean, I would eat that ice cream. She could have remade it. Just gave me that one, too. She doesn't know. She doesn't know that I'm on my weight loss journey. And this is an ordeal for me. And she needs to really sell it. She needs to... She needs to make it worthwhile for me. You don't want a big, elaborate, cheat meal like this to be wasted. I don't even remember what I ordered. I know I got a flamethrower burger. I'm excited for that. Give me a visa. Or debit. Debit visa. Whatever it's called. I'm not good at this anymore. She's not a fan of me. Can I show you guys my cool wallet? Very cool. It's just like a card holder. That's all it is. Just do that. Pinch it. And you can pick through your cards. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm never going back to a big bulky wallet. I'm obsessed with tiny wallets. I wish I didn't make her so mad. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And you're welcome for that too. Somebody's got to say you're welcome. This is Canada, after all. Everybody's going to be pleased. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I'm pretty sure she said, to have it to So, I mean, that makes up for it. All right, folks. I'm going to devour this in a shame spiral in my car in the dark all alone with no camera 
And now I'll turn the camera back on and we can talk about this shame spiral. It's gonna be so worth it though. Are you excited? I'm excited. My shame spiral's over. You know what? <clears throat> That's pretty good. Oh. Hmm. That's a lot of food. I don't think I eat that much anymore. That really, that made me sleepy. I don't think I'm good at fast food anymore. I feel a little bit like I'm gonna throw up. I mean, worth it? Probably, yeah. It was super delicious. I'm super full. Yeah, that did something to me. Something great. All right, I'm going inside. Whew. Yeah, I don't think I can videotape what I'm about to do. Yep, that definitely. Hmm. It's moving quick, let's tell you that. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, that was an odd whole thing that I just did. Not that odd. It used to be very norm. Um, I'm gonna go inside, take a shower, go to bed. Crash hard. <sighs> and uh, I got my lunch is all made and stuff for tomorrow, so we won't run into this again. Oh, that was really good. And I'm going to go do my cup. Go wash my cup and whatever dishes are in there. So, yeah. Bye, everybody. For now. Talk to you. All right. So, that was a radio. That was a lot of food. But... It is what it is. I've kind of wanted it lately. Today felt like the day. Um, I've been uh, I've been really good so far, so I don't feel. I kind of made the joke about being in a shame spiral, but I kind of I, like. I don't feel that guilty for eating that. Like I feel like uh, I probably shouldn't have. Now that I'm full, it's like you give in, and then once you're full, you're like, damn it. But I don't really feel bad because I've been doing so good. So, uh, I had a, you know, I had a burger a couple of weeks ago that my creation, that my student made, that was so good. Uh, I had a couple slices of pizza a few weeks ago. Like, you know, nothing really. I haven't really eaten bad in quite a while. That was probably one of the bigger ones. That would be the biggest one I've done since, for sure. Even, you know, going to the family thing, having two big plates of food and stuff like that. Like, what I just did would be the biggest I've done since October. Um, moral of the story is, super worth it. Let's all quit our diets and just eat like that forever. No. Um, I feel like as long as you don't dwell on mistakes, like honestly, like I don't have any issue at all with what I just did. I mean, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't feel any shame. I don't feel anything. I'm like, whatever, I eat bad. It's cool. If I eat bad tomorrow, I'll be like, damn it, I'm kind of messing up. If I eat bad the next day, but it's like, if I eat that and then I just go right back to normal, What's wrong with that? I think everybody gets so bent out of shape and then they convince themselves like, the day is ruined. Well, if I convinced myself the day is ruined, I would have got more. If the day is ruined anyway, if it's gone, I might as well get a large pizza. So, and 
I could eat a lot. I'm a hungry boy. So, uh, yeah, I definitely feel like that's probably one of the more dangerous things that I've ever done is convince myself that you messed up enough that it's over. Like, there's no more. Like, today is a write-off. doesn't matter what happens. I think that's probably the most dangerous thing I could ever say to myself because when I do that, instead of having a bad meal like I just did, I have... Like, I, I jokingly talked about it, but that's a real thing. Like, the shame eating thing. Like, I have... I've before eaten like that. I used to be 350 pounds. I mean, I've eaten like that before and then went somewhere else and ate like that again. Um, I've eaten bad, like, breakfast sandwiches, uh, like, all that stuff. And you know why? It's because... I convince myself that the day is shot. All right. You know, like when I smoked for years. You know, today's, today's, uh, today's ruined. I had a cigarette, so I'm just going to smoke and then try again tomorrow. It's like, well, you can't, you can't treat it like that because then every mistake is met with quitting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like I train myself. So I made a mistake. I, Cut out, cut out of my, whatever. Mistake, call whatever you want. I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew when I went to the mall, I kind of felt like I was gonna get something there. And I went and looked for Christmas sweaters. I was like, you know what? I might just grab something to eat. And I was, there was no doubt I was doing that. I didn't even think twice, I left the mall. And I was like, I'm gonna go get a blizzard, get a piece of pizza. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna get a piece of pizza. Like it was just, there was no doubt I was getting something. It was more so like, what am I getting? It was kind of the problem. So, yeah, I think people need not, people need to be hard on themselves. Like, don't eat like that. Definitely don't, uh, definitely don't reward yourself or anything for it. But I do think people need to not be as hard on themselves sometimes. Like, everybody makes mistakes, right? Like, I'm doing good. It's like when I, Amanda and my cousin, my cousin and I, we talked just, yes, the day before yesterday, Saturday, we talked for a while on the phone and one of the big things that we kind of talked about was like, when you weigh in every day, like I do, I weigh in today and I'm 269.8, I weigh in tomorrow and um, 271. And then I go to the gym and I go hard and I go crazy. Then I weigh in the next day and I'm 273. It's like, well, that doesn't seem fair. And then I weigh in the next day and I'm like 274. And it's like, why am I so, like, why am I still going? Like, it's, you get so, <laughs> you don't get discouraged, but you do. Like, you, Kind of, it's a bit of a piss off when you see that number go up. But then what you have to always remember is it's going down overall. Like, if I go back every seven days and, like, say every Saturday weigh in on my thing, it's like every Saturday, 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 Saturday. It's down, 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 down. Haven't went up one pound. That's awesome. So I have to look at that because that's what I'm doing. I'm doing that for a year. I can't never eat bad ever again in my life. But I could try really hard to not do it every day. And I could try really hard to not. Every day, just keep trying to not eat bad. And then, if you do, guess what happens the next day? Try not to eat bad. <laughs> That's it. So, it's kind of how I feel. So, it's, uh... I just wanted to say that because... I feel like this is kind of the stuff that... People like me, anyway... This is the stuff that makes me give up. You eat bad, you get embarrassed. Oh, I failed. You know, and you kind of convince yourself, like I said, that the day shot, you convince yourself this, convince yourself that, you do it again tomorrow, and it's, it all just kind of goes down, like, and then it just goes nowhere. But like, if you just stay the course, and every now and then you have a little thing, who cares? I'm not saying you can do it every day. 
I'm not saying you can have your, you know, your blizzard every day. Like, I love blizzards. They're probably my favorite, like, treat type thing. And that's what? Maybe number two since October. It became like my joke treat for a long time. It became the thing that we would do. Like, we'd go out and be like, ah, oh, let's grab a blizzard. Like, I'd be half serious, but be half joking because it became the thing, right? Like, it'd be like, oh, let's grab a donut if donuts were like. Yeah, and you just go grab one, and I don't know. That's good, though. I'm going to do good tomorrow. I know I will. So I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to go to bed. I'm probably going to wake up. I'm probably going to weigh in. I'm probably going to make smoothies. And then from there, I have no idea. But I got all that stuff down. All right, guys, see you guys tomorrow.